Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black and welcome to part 4 of the post game of Land of the Night and the Heroes of Seven Worlds. This time we're going to... Ah yes, Finoa. Well, there's been a, another incident that occurred here, but... The village seems pretty calm. You folks are the dispatched troops from Queen Grand Noa, aren't you? We've been waiting for you. Dispatched troops from Queen Grand Noa. It's better to have the powerful people of the world backing us up. It makes us easier to makes it easier for us to work. And we've heard some of the backstory from the queen too. There's a certain house in which a mysterious phenomenon has occurred. I'll show you there. Follow me. So we head towards the problem house. The place where the phenomena where the event occurred was this house. Just to confirm this, but it's truly simply only this house, is it? No events have been occurring in other locations. We have investigated, but this is the only one. And any victims? As of now, there are no dead and no injured. When the incident occurred, the residents flew out of the house in a panic. And since then, no one else has gone in. Hmm. That is fortunate. Well, it's unfortunate to the residents themselves, though. For the most part, it looks like it'll be Muska's work. That's hurrying right in. The interior is made into a labyrinth, most likely. Don't relax your guard. This time we're coming in with a lot of people. Yeah, with a great number of people. Unlike that time before, we don't need to be chased around. Come, let's go. So, once again, we set foot into a labyrinth in Finoa. It really is big in here. I really can't think that this would fit inside that house. Connecting together, t connecting together space, they created a pocket dimension. Geez, what unpleasant what an unpleasant pastime. At that time, when, as Alice lets loose a sigh. Heroes, welcome! Muska's game returns! The voice echoing inside of our heads. That belongs to Muska. As expected, this is your work. I didn't want to hear this voice again. Jeez. Don't be so mean about it. After all, this time I prepared a labyrinth especially for you guys.
So you're challenging us, huh? All right, we accept. The game's rules are simple. Continue through the labyrinth and reach the goal. But in this labyrinth, there are seven trials. Under specific conditions, you clear. If you don't clear them under specific conditions, you can't. You can't go through them. <laughs> I too have decided to play along with to join in Muska's play under the condition that I get to keep Byakunin. He? Hmm. This won't go as you think it will. I'm not interested in this type of entertainment, but... Well, I'm participating as Muska's guardian. So, that's how it is. Get through the seven trials. Can you get through the seven trials and reach the goal, I wonder? If you lose the game, you guys are our food. All of you will eat you tastily. But if you guys should win, what do you want? Naturally, you guys are my food. I'll eat you tastily. Don't be unreasonably contrarian, Alice. Of course, I'm joking here. If we win against this in this game, then you three are going to come are going to be secured under our control. How about that? <laughs> That's fine. In any case, we won't lose. So then, do your best. <laughs> we'll be praying for your for your uh, valiant fighting. I don't care about games and such, but to settle things with a hero, I do and I <clears throat> I do anticipate something. With that, Muska and their, well, the transmission cuts from Muska and them tr cuts out. Well, it's decided then. After this, we just need to overcome the labyrinth. But circumstances are different than before. We won't need to be running away due to a lack of fighting power. Again, it seems they've got various traps set up. We should proceed carefully. So then, let's go. Let's overcome these supposed, these supposed seven trials and reach the goal. And that's how we came to challenge Muska's game. Of course, at this time, we didn't had no way of knowing what was waiting for us was a fearsome set of trials, and one after the other, our our allies would fall in tragedy. Oh, that's not ominous. Uh, this door has a poster attached to it. Let's see. The first trial. 
the room you can't leave without having sex. Uh, what you say? <laughs> Welcome to the room you can't leave without sex. I wanted to try making one of these once. The rules are simple. If you, if you have sex with someone inside of this room, the door will open. But the ones having sex have to be a boy and a girl. Once you're finished, then the door will open. So then, have fun. Muska closes the connection. Oh no, we've all been changed into silent types. And of course, the men all uh, nod quiet. And on the women's side. <laughs> Stop that, Tasa. Jesus. So this has left us in a left us all in a painful mood. And the first one who breaks the silence is All right, Biakanin. Have sex with me. As expected, the first one to move is the one who can read the mood least. But Daimyomi. Ah, look at that look in her eye. I think I know what she wants. Uh, master? This way, Byakunin. Just like that. Magatsu takes Byakunin into the door. The, huh? I've been saying Byakunin this whole time, but if Kazuya starts with a ha, maybe it's Hakunin. Bleh. Che. That Oni hag. All together we wait with bated breath, breath and watch over the door. By the way, the room is perfectly soundproof. Perfectly soundproof. I'll bring that up again later, but anyway. And with and when the conditions are fulfilled. There, with that, the first one is cleared. Congratulations, you can pass through now. So with this we've cleared, well, let's go in. <laughs> it was a good time. Okay, sure. Not much to say here. With this, the first trial is over. I said this before, but there are seven trials. So coming on up ahead, these Unreasonably difficult trials are lined up for us. Jeez Louise. So there are six more strange trials waiting for us. Can't think of what's ahead of us, but nothing to do but continue. At least it's nice and linear this time through. Again, the door's got a poster on it. 
the number two, the second trial. The room you can't get out with a, you can't leave without sex. Two. So, no way. Again. The room you can't escape without sex. Nobody said that there would be only one, did they? The rules are the same as before, but be care take care of one then. I'll warn you about one thing. It's ineffective if you challenge it with the same pair. In other words, Byakunin and Magatsu can't do it anymore, huh? Once again, it seems we need to challenge this room. Next, just who will... Oh, this again. Wait. This isn't the circumstance for us to be standing off against each other. First of all here, let's split ourselves up into pairings. But splitting us into pairings, so you mean mating partners. That's what it means. <laughs> ah, Daimyomi, you've already lost your partner. So, that being what it is, get into pairs. You'll go here and you'll come this way. And Alice organizes everyone, I guess. So, just like that, half forcefully, all of our members are organized. Well, something like this then. Hey, wait. Laura and I, and I are just contractually related, you see. I too am not like this. This isn't this isn't how we are. So then, Ross and Laura, if they were to do it with other women, you'd be okay with it? That's... No! <laughs> well, if Laura's okay with it, I could go with him, all, I suppose. I'd like to do it with no Nobisa, but in this form, anybody's fine. Or even everybody all at once. Stay in human form for us, please. <clears throat> um, why do I get two partners? Naturally, it's me, Kazuya. Kazuya, of course, it is I. Well, whichever one you pick, it's up to you to decide. We, your private, your private, uh, private concerns are not our business. Um, and I, less came here to this world without any companions. And naturally, he's standing alone now. In the end, the other heroes are all... They all brought along somebody they care for. But... It, in my case, there's someone I've had my eye on. Lurichia. Princess Lurichia. Oh... Don't get all depressed over there. There's someone waiting for you in your world, after all. Anyway, our groupings are five groups in total. So, who, which pair wants to do it first? In that case, the one taking up the gauntlet is somehow Rija. It's a hey, you can't leave without doing it, right? 
then there's just one thing to do, right? No rat. At Laura's be uh, at Regio's beckoning, Laura nods quietly. I see. Are you really okay? We two are a nightmare and a human, so objecting now is not particularly. Yeah, that's the kind of contractual relationship we have. You see. I don't like to do it at someone else's beckoning, but it's not the time and place to be to be uh, floundering about. So then, here we go. After we're done, we'll come out. So don't come in before that, okay? Rijo and Lorette. Rigeo takes Laura's hand and determinedly heads through the door with him. Hmm. So she's finally being a bit sincere about it. The young ones are so cute. But will this be okay? That Rigeo seemed to be fairly reserved. Hmm. Wasn't any need to worry, huh? With this, we've overcome the second trial. But she said to wait until they came back out. Uh, two girls, you need to take care of the... You need to take care of things afterwards. Various things. It's difficult dealing with women, isn't it? So then, let's wait. Yes. So we wait. Isn't this taking a bit long? Wow. A second time? <laughs> We've kept you waiting. So, Rijeo, with her knees shaking and her breath all violent, and Laurette, who's flush faced and also trying to resume breathing steadily, the two of them come out. Just once, and the door would open. So, why twice? Just once and the door open. So why twice? Just once and the door would open. So why twice? Enough of that saying the same thing. It's just, I got a little serious, so. Ah, uh, maybe it's a nightmare thing. Oh yeah, come to think of it. You were a nightmare, weren't you? Anyway, Rigeo's fierce battle has gotten us through the second trial. Come. Time to continue onwards. This is the third trial. It's not the room you can't leave without sex. Hey, it wouldn't be any fun if we just kept repeating the same gag, would it? Although that was pretty f although I had plenty of fun laughing at you. And so, this is... I don't want to have to say this, but I guess I do. <clears throat> the Handjob Karaoke Room. He repeats it. 
but I'm not gonna. Do you know what this is, Cassia? Um, when my world was peaceful, it was a game that existed. You sing a song, and you get points, but while you're while you're singing, the whole time you're singing, you're handled. And under those bad conditions, you need to get a good score. Kazuya's world. Are there nothing but idiots there? They were events for variety shows and adult entertainment. Normally, it's not like we were doing that all the time. The karaoke machine is in the center of the stage. So then, I'll introduce you to the handler. Below the stage and off in a corner, there's a mirror. In it, the succubus tosses images reflected. And the next instant, that toss-up comes out of the mirror. <laughs> Leave the handling to me. Everybody, can you sing properly? There's another of me. That is a replication made by the Mirror of Truth. She has all the same powers as the original. In other words, she's good at handling. So even she would... So I guess that was the original Tasa saying it. And she herself says she's good at it. So it could be tough. So while receiving the uh, treatment, you have to get a high score. And I see. We get the general idea. Uh, but let us ask a bit concretely into these rules. Ah, oh, here he goes. Those who can take the challenge are naturally only men. If you get more than 90 points, the game is clear and the door opens. And you can take the challenge as many times as you want. When you lose, there's no particular penalty. But, starting now, if you can't overcome the trial in, two under, in under two hours, then you guys lose, and it's game over. Understood. Time is short. Let's start. First up, who wants to go? The silent types don't speak, so they're excluded. So then, the candidates remaining are... The candidates remaining are four. Um, you're saying that as if it's all nat such a natural thing, but what exactly is a silent type? Don't touch it. It seems to be tied up in the rules of the world. Lorat makes a face like he's really sorry. Yeah, I bet he'd be a good singer or something. <clears throat> so there we go. The possible contenders are for Luca, Kazia, Byakunen, and Lest. Um, I really don't have confidence, though. 
with regard to erotica. I'm really bad at handling it, so... Byakunin, you go for go first. Uh, master, but... You have been polishing your endurance, haven't you? Show everybody the results of your training up to now. So, you go so far as to say that. All right, I understand, I'll do it. Um, for first things, this is kind of shocking. Oh no, I said that wrong. There's a partition up. That makes it, that makes the embarrassment a little less, so that's one good thing. Leave the operation of the karaoke machine to me. We've got various tunes from past and present, eastern and western. Ah, there's a Mabharoba folk song here. So let's go with this. So then, Byakunin shall sing. The song starts, and Tasa starts handling. How? Oh, you're letting your voice slip already? Come on, the song's starting. I'll spare you of my attempts at imitating what he's singing. Hmm? Can't you sing properly? He gets a few more lines out and says, No, stop, I can't do it. Well, you're quite sensitive here, aren't you? So how about this? Yeah, this isn't going well, is it? <laughs> there you go. Hey, shouldn't you still be singing? Good. Her apprentice's sing is coming to such a fate. Nagatsu. I hope that she isn't too hurt by this. This is unbearably good. Mm-hmm. That's how Nagatsu is. So then, Nagatsu's song finishes. His point total is... Total score, 44 points. I'm sorry. So, the score that D Byakunin was able to get was not anywhere close to the 90 we need to clear. So, our first attempt at the challenge is an unmitigated failure. But, there's no penalty to a failure by itself. We can challenge it as many times as we want in, within the time limit. Alright, it can't be helped. I'll do it. This sort of thing and dance-offs. Do you really do dance-offs? Anyway, he says that he's sort of this... He's used to this sort of thing and to dance-offs. That's great, Kazuya. Please do your best. Do your best. Do your best. Quiet in the peanut gallery. All right, Kazuya Kun, pick your song. There are a lot of songs that I know. Does Miska's world and my world resemble each other? All right, my specialty. Hard drive. Let's go. So then, Kazuya Kun shall sing. Starting again, 
And Tasta starts handling again. Yeah, he doesn't finish the first line. Ah, Kazia, Kazia, you're so sensitive. He's not doing well. Hey, hey, I found a lot of weak points. No, I can't do this. It feels... This is... I've noticed a... Let's just say she's taking note of his weak points. Although there's a partition. And the song ends. Total score is 36 points. You got lower than Bjarkinen did. I'm ashamed. Next is me. Huh? I'm not confident in this, so I don't want you to get your hopes up. So then, let's try it out. I presume those are lyrics. Point total is 38 points. No good as well, huh? But even so, you got two more points than I. All right, the fourth contender. It's you. Can you do it, Luca? I'll do as much as I can. Naturally, he doesn't feel confident in doing this. But the other three are no good, so... There's no other way than for Luca to do it. That didn't sound good. Luca's points are... 29. You got the lowest score of all, you fool! S sorry. Unexpectedly, to think I got the highest score. Hey, Bjarkanen, you got talent. So, what do we do here? In just two hours, I don't get the feeling like we can clear this. I'm so sorry. I apologize. I'm ashamed. Sorry, everyone. Sorry for being so good at this. Huh, well... It's not like we're blaming you. But this could be pretty bad. Hmm, can't be helped. Let's do this a little roughly. Daimyomi, you have a good plan. You guys, did you listen to the rules properly? You need to clear with 90 points, and the time limit is two hours. That's it, isn't it? Right, that's it. There isn't a rule saying that you can't defeat the Handler. I see. It's true. It wasn't forbidden in the rules. Eh, wait, me? Clone Tassa. Conveniently giving her a different name. It's probably illegal, even though it wasn't... In, it, even though it wasn't forbidden in the rules, but... Well, whatever. Let's do it. It's uh, rambunctious, but... In order to clear it, we gotta do this. Yeah, beat up the innocent girl. Succubus. <clears throat> okay. We've made up our minds. And attack Tosses Mira's image. I need to review that algorithm. 
How mean! So, the clone toss up. Return this beer is into the mirror. This. Is it really okay? Don't make me say it repeatedly. It wasn't forbidden by the rules. No, it's really pre precedent to the rules. This is unbelievable. Aren't you guys heroes? To think you were able to say that you were allies of justice or whatever. <laughs> you guys, good to be your worse than we are. <laughs> She's reprimanding us. Well, honestly, even if she says that, we had to do it, I think. Well, this time, since you've already done it, we can't take it back, so... Next time... Starting next time, you can't use force in the games, okay? Can't use force in the games, right? Right. That's what she said. So, she said what she is. She got her interruption into our game, so her communication cuts off again. Anyway, the handling has disappeared. With this, it'll be easy to clear it. It's cheating amongst all cheating, but couldn't be helped. So then, I'll do the, I'll do my song, Hard Drive, again. Again, I won't hurt you with my attempts at singing. Kazuya's song ends. The received score is 76 points. This handling karaoke, even without the handling, you're no good at it. Well, the handling part is just supposed to distract you, but even to start with, getting 90 points in a clear is a high hurdle to climb. How about if we Already, being limited to min is kind of pointless, isn't it? There isn't a handler anymore, you see? So then, let's call Saki up. Well, so anything goes already, huh? More singing. Hooah! Amazing! Saki! So this is professional. Okay, sure. So, Saki finished her song. The point total is 99 points. With this, we finally cleared it. Finally, the third one. We've cleared the handling karaoke. Jeez, that was utterly... Ugh. Somehow I... feel like I've done something bad here. That happens to her a lot. Now that you mention it, that mirror of truth... Having it just... Using it here and then leaving it behind seems like a waste. In place of a reward, let's take it with us. Alright, Mirror of Truth. So then, let's continue on. The remaining trials are... Four.
Oh. Something you couldn't see during the actual event, but they have that posted on the wall. The fourth trial is... The room you can't leave without sex. Three! Jeez. Again. I thought there would be another one or two. So then, the remaining groups are... Yep, this is how it is. So, who's going in next? I'll do it. It's me. Lampas and Mukuro grab onto the both sides of Kazuya's body and start pulling at him. Stop it, you two. At the very least, use your hands. Using your vines and your hair. I guess Mukuro grabs with her hair. I'm going to be torn in half. And anyway, I, as we are now, Anyway, I'm now being handled like Samael was then. Samael, I suppose, is someone from his setting. Because I don't remember it coming up in the game so far. We aren't reaching any conclusion here. Let's decide it by lottery. I'm going to mark these papers and... So together they draw, and the one chosen is Nobisa and Tasa group. So then, we're heading in. Tasa and Nobisa disappear into the room. Alright, they did it. So then. Uh, wait a minute. No, wait. Nobisa. Nobisa's in trouble. We step into the room and there is... Hey, Nobisa. Are you done already? Let's do it more and more. Nobisa is in that short time completely left haggard enough already you're done already oh what cruelty to be reduced to this we're done with this how boring so Nobis has been sacrificed. And we've come overcome the fourth trial. I'm sure this is something else, right? The fifth trial is the room you can't get out. You the room you can't leave without sex. Four. Enough already. Hasn't this guy gone on long enough? Hey. Don't say things that make me look bad. I just happen to like this room. And I love this room. Don't go agreeing with our enemies here. Anyway, let's divide up into pairs again. So remaining three groups. It's gotten pretty limited. So the three groups draw the lottery. 
Me, huh? Finally, the time has come. But even saying that, in my world, when it comes to this, that means you're dying. So, having sex with monsters is something I would resist, but... Well, in this world, you don't need to worry about that. Lampus or Mukuro? Pick your partner. Well, it's a bit unfortunate that I can't stand up a lamppost. But... Kazuya, you'll fulfill your promise, won't you? Your responsibility for hurting me. I'll take about... I'll take my payment now. That's... That's insistent. And anyway... There aren't any wounds remaining on you. And Kalsia doesn't want you to be harvesting him. Rather... Kazuya would enjoy mine. Would enjoy mine better. Lampus and Mukuro grab the two sides of Kazuya's body and start pulling. Again. Ah, da, 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 da. Two, you two, calm down. You'll tear me in half. <laughs> I've thought of a good plan. Just like this, from the two sides. You pull at him, and the win and the one who wins is... That's no good. That method is not good. No way. These two, even after I've been torn to pieces, would keep pulling. Well, continuing any further than this would really be a danger to Kazuya's health. Let's do this quietly and decide by lottery. Lampus and Mukuro draw their straws. And the one who gets the win is... Yes, it's me! At least she's not a sore loser. Ah, ah. She's angry. Her hair is... rustling <laughs> amazingly. Apprehensile hair, after all. Oh, so maybe she isn't such a good loser. So then... I'm going in. When you hear the sound effect... I'll come back... I'll come right back out. Just wait a bit. Kazuya and Lampus disappear to the other side of the door. Hey, hey! Just a minute. Ka Kazuya! Uh, <laughs> I got nothing to do with this. I intended to finish up with just one shot. It's not my fault. Kazuya just shot off several times on his own. Another sacrifice. What a terrifying room. With this, Kazuya has become a sacrifice. And... We've gotten through the fifth trial. Yeah, we're most of the way. I don't like the look of this. The sixth trial is the room you can't leave without sex five. Is she completely lacking in creativity?
All right. The remaining pairs are only two. So then, by lottery, the one who draws the winning ticket is Ross and Luisa. Luisa. What? I, I'm in a place like this, doing it like, I can't do this. Ah, uh, neat. <clears throat> she ran away. <laughs> How young. Oh, to be young. So, your partner's run away. What are you going to do, Ross? If you want, I can go with you. How about you knock it off already? Probably. Oh, yes. Probably. If you did that, then she'd lash out when she returns. It can't be helped. The Ralph's pair is no good. The remainder is just one. You and I, Alice. So, automatically it came to that. But, such a... Just wait up! If you were deciding by lottery, I would have kept quiet, but... Process of elimination isn't good? Why is Lucas' partner Alice? Besides her, there are plenty of candidates. For instance... Who, someone who, more than any of her, his other companions, has been with him the longest, his childhood friend, or such. Is there any connection with? How, is there any connection to how long you've known him? With regard to the adventure, being Lucas' partner is the longest, longest standing partner of Luca is none other than myself because she joined the partner at Luca's house and then Sonia joined the party afterwards huh I object anyway let's get something let's get this perfectly clear wait wait let's do this quietly and don't stick your hand into this Biakonen. If you butt in unskillfully, you'll get drawn in. A scene of carnage has begun. You say that you've been with Luca the longest, but in that time, what have you done? Ah? You've just been procrastinating in your favorable position, and you haven't, and you didn't, and you even lacked the effort to reach out your hand for what you want. That we've come to this situation in the first place is due to your complacency. She's really hitting her where it hurts. Already she can do nothing but scream menacingly. Lest, if you stick your neck out unskillfully, you're going to be inviting punishment on yourself. Yeah, who would like to see Sonia punish Lest for, st for butting in? If you're not raising your hand, you suck. Anyway, well, well, let's all get along. And this guy, too. There's something strange with how overwhelmingly dense he is. 
since he's half angel maybe his sensation of these things is different from those that lived on earth well wait Luca is my groom it's only proper for me to be his partner here hey look another another uh, troublesome person is poking their neck nose in all right Hilde too has reproduction reproductive functions since we're here I'd like to try them QQ Niriko's making the best argument so far if there's the opportunity would I be all right I would like to get a DNA sample you see I announced my candidacy too making him my groom even while he's alive it'll, I can work things in so it's better after he's dead if you think about it well Luca's a good thing to be getting I'll do it too <laughs> this seems like so much fun I too will join this feast uh, I mean competition so from inside of the pocket mao castle besides that a lot of voices come out the four spirits and our other companions are causing a ruckus it looks like we're not going to reach a conclusion at this rate so let's quietly let's uh, peacefully enter into our conversation in the room in question I'm going to borrow it a bit for a little we're going to need a bit of space Alice enters into the room along with the pocket Mao castle and everyone in it here's a chant and she ends it with Omega Blaze <laughs> I'm giving it all I got sorry uh... the conversation has started do you remember the first trial they said these rooms are soundproof so either they just decided to drop that so everybody could hear them fighting or Kazuya has come to the conclusion that the debate has started correctly I'll kill you all I'll introduce you to the party on the other side by which she means the next life hey that was a nice animation this is a scene of carnage okay so I guess it's not soundproof anymore be careful going forward the Akinen. you have a propensity that could lead you to that end too the ground is shaking uh, are they okay I'll reduce you all to fried meat I didn't know Morgan was that attached I'll burn everything up so hot that stupid lizard pulling Loth magma out in this place no you can't do that the room's filling up with sediment
it got quiet. Uh, the conversation, question mark, has ended, has it? Let's take a look inside. <laughs> well, I should have expected, but that was backbreaking. So then, Luca, on to the to the uh, let's get to business. I just say, um, the door is broken though. What? What? Can't leave without sex, they say. But with that much destruction going on, well, they didn't anticipate. Uh, is that so? Are you disappointed? I'm. <clears throat> I'm not disappointed, in particular. Anyway, with this, we've cleared the sixth trial. <laughs> Wait up. You guys are seriously the worst. You're ignoring the whole setup and destroying the room. That's unbelievable. You guys are just cheating your way through. And even so, are you really heroes? This time, we didn't do it on purpose. Make rooms that can withstand this sort of thing. I'd really like you to, like you to not try and make it my fault, though. Well, whatever. In the next room, it'll be payback time. Muska's voice ends. Next up is finally the end trial. Hmm. Wait, when did you come back? Earlier, taking advantage of the com. Oh, <clears throat> I mean, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, it, we can't expect, I expect it won't be another sex room. Next time, they're going to be coming at us to fight. Well, we better raise our spirits for fighting then. Let's go. Well, it looks like my party didn't participate. Ahead is the seventh. The final trial. Probably. They're going to challenge us to a battle. Are we good on preparations, Luca? Yeah, we're all prepared. Come on, let's go. <laughs> We've been waiting. You finally come so f <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't do it. You guys, up to now, just thinking about it. <laughs> uh, oh, I've never laughed so much. But you, you finally got to this point. On the way, there were a lot of rooms you were, there were some rooms you were out of line in, though. Huh. 
You're the one at fault for not making the rules clear. And these ridiculous games. You've made us thoroughly run through these. You know. Yeah, by you guys, we've been thoroughly chased through this crap. We aren't going to let you do to others what you've done to us anymore. <laughs> Byakunen, your song earlier, it was so cute. From your excited voice, doing your very best, I, without thinking, started to drool. Afterwards, I'll eat you kindly, right? I refuse. To me, this was a a trouble, a uh, boring spectacle, but this battle here Honestly, I've been waiting for it. To be challenging a hero like heroes like this. In my world, this sort of thing doesn't happen anymore, I thought. If we win, we're taking you under our control. You remember the promise, right? <laughs> oh, that's right, wasn't it? Well, anyway, we're going to win. That's all. We got a big catch this. We got a big catch today. I wonder if we can eat them all. Say, since there's so many. How about I take Byakunin and Luca as well? This is the first time that the three of us have fought at the same time. <laughs> Don't get killed too easily, boys. Yeah, I definitely should have prepared better. Bye bye. Power seed, magic seed, and dexterity seed. This is our, this is human's power. We aren't just prey for you to eat. Something like this. Is it... what's it called? Having your hand bitten by dessert? Jeez. These are impressive younglings, aren't you? Even though I went all out unbefitting it for my age. You remember the promise, right? Henceforth, you are under our watch. We won't put you in a prison or anything, but in the form of companions, we'll be watching over you. Well, to try and rein us in. You're pretty ambitious, don't you think? <laughs> From this situation, you're making us companions, are you? So that is just a bit interesting.
Up to now, I thought I've grappled with many heroes, but fighting alongside heroes, this will be a first experience. Very well. We too will become your companions or such. And a tour of the various countries of this other world. It seems we won't get bored. Further, for the sake of searching for a way to return to our original world, we're going to need a base of operations. It's not a bad thing to get in our hands. I think it's a little tr bothersome, but... Well, I can eat tasty things as I walk, so... It should be okay. So then, take a care of us. Yuska joins. Nemea joins. Venom joins. Jeez. Can't think of what's going to be happening now. These, these, uh, this lot might have a change of heart, or perhaps they won't. Honestly, it's useless to worry about. There's nothing to do but keep them where our. Uh, Kick them within eyesight and watch over them. Hmm. So then, truly, the ones watching are both sides, aren't they? We're companions after all. You might think and let your guard down, and you can't do that, can you? So then, Byakunen, from now on, you and I will be sleeping under the same roof. <laughs> so even in your daily routines, you can't loosen your guard up, Byakunen. In the nights, you can sleep alongside me. Uh, I understand. Is that okay? Anyway, with this, another instance is solved. Let's go continue to search down the other members of the Alliance. And that's that. And we can't go back. There weren't any treasure chests or anything, so I guess all there would be were random encounters. If you want to have random encounters, you probably want to go to the demon castle. They should have all the random encounters from this scenario. So, that's that. Thanks for watching, and next time, we're going to conclude. We'll head back to Grand Noah and go into the demon castle and recruit the final allies. Well, one final ally and one erstwhile companion. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. <laughs>